Hi friends, so today we are doing a repair on a Samsung A52 S um, A52 S and A52 is the same So I've already heated up the back glass, uh, the back cover It's made of plastic So <clears throat> we need to take this one off So let's start from here I'm just going to insert my metal tool It's quite easy to take it off You can either Just pull it off like this it'll come off quite easily so now you need to be careful of this point when you lift it off this flex uh, the cameras and that's it guys so after that it's quite simple so take off all the screws the screws on the bottom so I'm just going to fast forward this part of the video <coughs> so friends I've taken off all the screws uh, on phone so now we need to Take off this plate all right to take off this plate and this plate i'm just going to use my tweezer to take off the remaining screws of the plate so it's quite easy to do it just all of the screws are of same size so no worries where you put the wrong size screws to the same size so when you take this one off try and be careful you don't want to damage any components on the motherboard so when you insert your tool, try and put it somewhere here because there's no components here. All right, there's one screw here and the battery needs to be disconnected. So let's do that first. Then we'll take this one off. I'm going to show you what's underneath over here. But there you go, that's your loudspeaker. So now we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor and the connections over here and here. So there's a marking here, there's a small bit of gold marking, so try and pry it off from here because there are components right next to it. So be careful, try not to damage them or the phone will be quite bad to fix because they're quite small components and you need the correct tools to replace the components. All right, friends, be positive, you can do it. Take your own time and this particular gold marking tells you where to pry it off from so please do not use too much of force or you'll damage the capacitors they're very easy to damage so be mindful of that uh, that's the fingerprint sensor let's disconnect it and uh, take off this screw here which holds holds the charging port and uh, take this screw as well now it's quite easy make sure the black screw go where they're meant to go and uh, to take off the fingerprint use your hobby blade and just give a small nudge try not to go too deep because you can damage the fingerprint sensor uh, there's some glue here on the fingerprint we can take this one off quite easy to take it off there you go it's off now uh, I prefer to keep it leveled when I'm using the fingerprint the sim tray we haven't taken it off let's do it now so just going to push it off and then slowly take off the sim tray from there now we need to take off the motherboard so try and use your hobby blade it i'm more used to this one than the other tools i've been using this tool for quite a few years now so lift it on the top and then pull it out uh, this flex is a coax cable so try and be gentle with them LCD flex is here, no need to take it off because it stays there and there you go. Motherboard is off and the charging port is off. Now the new screen doesn't come with the vibrator so to take off the vibra there's a space here and uh, pull it off like this. The glue will remain here if not then you'll have to put a new glue because you don't want the vibration to make noise because if the glue is not there <laughs> then it's going to in, come in contact with the metal when it shakes and you're going to get some very bad vibrating rattling noise okay so now what we can do is uh, put a new screen so the new screen is here the battery also will be replaced uh, i prefer to put new batteries because any flex to the old battery 
can cause a short circuit so best to replace with a new battery they're quite strongly at this uh, adhesive uh, is put for the battery so it's good always to get a new battery when you're replacing the screen to be safe there are shops which use the same battery and you're gonna have problems if they have not taken it off properly it's gonna swell it's gonna get swollen if it's not been taken off very well there's very easy ways of taking off the batteries please please comment below if you want to see how I take off batteries without damaging them and there we go so I have a wrist strap as well so I'm grounded it's good to use them because there are some instances where you can damage uh, components due to static charge which is building up in your body so I'm just routing the cables so uh, as they should so white goes underneath the blue is on top the blue is slightly having a bigger width than the white so the blue will stay on the top perfect so now what you can do is put your fingerprint sensor there's glue which comes on the screen and uh, I've got a new battery for this particular job I'm just going to use it that's your front camera which goes on the top easy peasy lemon squeezy so the battery has to be folded somewhere here and connect the battery first uh, and then align it and then press it down press the flex down again here and uh, don't forget the black screws one here and one here so the black screws are a bit smaller than the other rest of the screws so you want to put them exactly where they came from and last but not the least we have the flex which goes on the top so this one goes here let's disconnect the battery just that I don't want to short circuit anything so just connect the flex here and this one here and when you get the click noise that's uh, that's a good indication that it's set it properly there you go make sure it's flush with your phone otherwise your back glass won't sit properly so battery connected and your top part will go from the top make sure it clicks on there you go just work run your fingers make sure it's sitting flush with the phone well I'm happy with that so let's put the screws on Try not to touch the camera lenses, so uh, the fingerprint marks are very difficult to take it off. So I'm just going to fast forward the uh, screws. Hi friends, so I've put all the screws uh, everywhere. Now I've just noticed the back glass has a bit of paint missing here. So you see the paint is spilling off. So I'm just going to fit a new back cover for the customer. So that's a new one, it's original and uh, just take off the original uh, adhesive protection and uh, there's some plastic bit on the back so when you put the back cover on make sure you line it on the top first on the top near the camera and then on the sides make sure it's aligned with the camera lens make sure there's no dust on the camera lens and then press it down perfect press it here Make sure it makes a good seal. And there you go. To try not to press in this area too much because there's a the motherboard there. It's just plastic back glass. So the phone is fixed. Uh, let's try and turn it on. If it turns on, it should all work. So thanks for the test. Well, guys, the phone turns on. Seems to be working. And uh, new back cover. Sides new screen new sites new everything is new and guys please support the channel like and subscribe and thank you for watching and thank you for being here love you thank you bye